Hello, I'm Rod Sampson, the US agent for Brunton's Propellers. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fit the bearings to the blades as we reassemble our Autoprop H6 propeller. So by now, the blades are going to look like something like this. Um, we fitted the lip seals, uh, I was actually going through the instructions and uh, this is actually a, a step ahead of where we are, but it's not a problem. Um, these are quite fragile so I don't really want to remove them and to refit them. Um, the, the step that we're missing is uh, to put the, the uh, taper roller bearing into the bearing bore. So this is very, very straightforward. So the little taper roller bearing, it came in the kit, uh, just looks just like that. And what we're looking for is the outside of the bearing. Now you'll see as its name says it's a taper roller bearing and what we want to do is inside the bore we've got a nice little um, pocket that this is going to sit into. Now it has to sit um, with the largest diameter facing upwards and it's, it's, uh, an inter it's a very very tight fit but it is a clearance fit so it should just fit straight in. So as I say we're just going to fit this one in I'll just square that one up and it should just fit nice and tightly down there and that's and that one's in so again with the with the blade being an l-shaped blade we haven't really uh, done, done any damage to the lip seals so if we just continue with the other ones there's one you can see there's just little cone shapes again Again, you see it's just a very straight, so you need to keep it as parallel as possible, little force as possible, and it sometimes, as I'm doing here, it's kind of walking walking in. So we just gently... and just walk it down. There we go. And it releases itself. So it can be a little bit troublesome sometimes as you've just seen, but it just pops in. So it's a it's a very, very tight fit. And the more parallel, clearly <laughs> I didn't do it that time. And we'll just do one more. So the final one. Take that over. Again, it's a little difficult for me, obviously working backwards. And if we had just more gently so you can see the more gentle you are uh, the easier it goes in okay so the next step is to fit the huge bearing this is the thrust bearing and this is what's going to sit on the propeller and it's going to transfer the loads to the hub so it's a really really critical one this one and this is your, this is your thrust bearing so it's it's a three-part bearing and it comes just like so it's all nicely lubricated uh, from the packet now it has to have believe it or not these are actually different diameters so I'm just going to check which is the uh, the larger of the diameters so that's 50 mil yeah you can see that one straight away and that's 52 millimeters so the largest diameter I think it's the one that has the uh, SKF writing has to sit on the blade the one with a slightly smaller diameter we're going to push that one inside the hub now the reasons for the, um, the, the you need to get the uh, the different diameters the right way around is if you, if you if you mix it up it does it does restrict the flow of grease in the propeller so it's best to um, to make sure you get this uh, this part right. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. And we'll just we'll put one in as before. Let's just clear this out of the way. So again, this is the. Um, the 52 millimeter diameter, it's the largest, the largest diameter. If you remember when we took this apart, the grease and all the gunk kept the race inside this channel here. Um, so this time it's the same as the, the thrust bearing. They're, they're very parallel surfaces with a very tight tolerance. So you just need to press them in. And once they're in, they, they, they tend to be a little tricky to get out. So, um, okay, that's one. And again, just with the SKF writing. So again, you can just see if that comes up on camera. It's just going to sit inside nice and gently. Just pop it in. It sits in nicely. Two. 
And the final one. And this one's just going to sit. I seem to mess one up. There we go. And there's three. Okay. So we fitted the lip seal into the blades. We put put the um, the race for the thrust bearing, and we've also put the race inside for the um, taper roller bearing. So these blades now are ready to be re reassembled. So the next thing to do is you just need to get the hub ready. Okay. Right, so the hub now, we've just, we've just finished the three blades. It's the same again, and you want to keep these nice and clean. So you're not going to get any uh, debris in them. Uh, obviously in the workshop it's uh, really, really important to do so with all the, uh, the muck and stuff lying around. Or if you're on the hard, trying to do this <laughs> under the boat, there's all sorts of uh, particles there. And it's the same problem that we had here before. Uh, it's going to sit into a little race. This one's a little easy to handle because it's only on one side. So, and it just sits in quite nicely. So there's one in. You can just see the nice difference in colours. Again, if you just try and force it in a little too much, just gently lift it out. So just take your time, nice and parallel, and it just sits <laughs> ever so easy. And the last one. Get nice and parallel. Sits in. Okay. So we are ready now to start putting uh, the little lock nut and the little tab washer, tab screw, sorry. Um, these are just going to lock inside the little channels and stop it from uh, rotating out. The main component is this one. Now this one, this nut here, I don't think you can see this, um, it, it's an unusual shape. Um, on this side there's a, a little bit of writing and there looks to be what is like a, a little circlip inside. Now this here is the, uh, the upside and then the, the side that looks like a conventional nut is the, is the, is the downside. So in your actual fact, it, it'll go on that way with a little circlip like um, gizmo on the inside. But when you try and put it on the other way, which it looks like it actually goes on that way, it will not locate. So there's only one way this will actually go on. Okay, so now we're going to start on the bench. I'm going to start using my little um, pipe grip uh, just to hold the hub and then we'll start reassembling the blades. Okay, so in this video we reviewed the be putting the seals on. Uh, we've added the races on both of the, um, the taper roller bearing and the thrust bearing. We've got the hub ready, we've got the races in for that. Um, we now know um, which way up the washer, the, um, the nut goes on. And we're just about to ready to get the, um, the blades assembled. We're going to use a pipe vise here, uh, just to hold it nice and steady. This is from the workshop. And put the blades on, put the races on, and start locking everything down. Thinking about Loctite, tightening up and torques and all that good stuff. And pretty much we're into the final stretch now. This is when it starts to look like a propeller again, not three, four lumps of bronze. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, um, we've added just a little subscribe link in the bottom right hand corner. If you click on that, um, you'll get updates automatically on the website when we add further videos and uh, other fun stuff. Thanks very much.